So today we're going to have a look at pirouetting loops. This is going to be far easier than rolling loops. Uh, there's going to be far less danger involved. Uh, we're going to take it, break it down and we're going to do it. Uh, you're going to learn it uh, in a really, really non-dangerous way. So we'll start by doing a, a, just regular forward loops and then we'll do backwards loops and then we'll do sideways loops in both directions. And then we'll start doing the quarter turns and half turns as we go around. And then that'll eventually progress to the point where you can do full pirouetting loops and you can actually control them. So you can decide to maybe do two pirouettes per loop or four pirouettes per loop. A question that comes up quite often is how do I know what maneuver I should be looking at next to learn? And this is where things like the set maneuver lists can be really, really useful. If you're a beginner intermediate, there's things like the Urcha or the RCHN uh, set maneuvers or uh, levels that you can look at. The F3N set maneuvers are really brilliant. So they the 35 set maneuvers and they start at a fairly easy level. So you do something like a stall turn and a backwards roll and it'll take you all the way up to being a really, really difficult 3D maneuver, like rolling globe reversals and that sort of thing. And those are really nice to work on. It's a nice progression. Global 3D has a, a set maneuver list as well. I think that starts a little bit harder in the beginning, and, but it takes you up to the latest really difficult 3D maneuvers. Mikado has a book. Uh, I'm actually not sure if it's in print anymore, but about 10 years ago, they released a book that had um, Kyle Dahl and a couple of people just create images of, of these maneuvers. So these sorts of set maneuvers lists are absolutely brilliant. If you're looking for the next maneuver that you're trying to learn and you're trying to progress, you definitely want to have a look at those sorts of things. So let's go and do the pirouetting loops. Right, so really safe. We're just going to start with regular forward loops. And you want to be at the level where you can make them really nice and round. And you can do at least two on the spot and the same shape. Okay. And once you can do that, we'll move on to backwards loops. So a similar thing, similar size, same shape. And we've got a little bit of wind from behind, so we're having to use a, some uh, aileron just to bring it back. You want to have really good control with these. Same shape, same size. And once you've done that, we're going to sideways. Okay, and this way around, I'm actually using the tail thrust to push me around. So the model's not struggling at all. Making a little bit of tail noise because of the pitch. But you keep the same shape, same speed. All right, and then we'll do the other sideways as well. So this way you're actually going against the tail thrust, so it's not going to climb quite as well. It's going to be quieter, but when you get to this point, you'll have to keep the model a little bit flatter, climb with collected, and then roll it over the top. Okay, so once you're happy with all four of those, we're going to start doing 180 degree changes. So we'll go to the top, and backwards and down again. Right. And this is really safe. You've literally just done it. Send another 100, 180, and come down again. Okay, and then now we'll do quarters. So we'll go up, do a quarter turn, come down sideways. Another quarter turn to backwards. Quarter turn, and we come down sideways again. Right, and we're just getting used to the idea. We're getting used to the idea that we can turn the model in flight. And then we'll do a little bit more. Do a quarter turn over. Quarter turn down. So sideways, backwards, sideways, forward. Turn the other way as well. So forward, backward, and down. And this should be completely safe, far safer than things like rolling. Okay. You also want to do it from the other side. So with the wind direction, you will have to work, work it slightly differently. But it is good do it from both directions so you don't become handed. And also you'll notice differences 
And now I know with the wind from the left, that I have to pop it a little bit more over the top. And then we'll do the same thing backwards. And sideways. That's a nice tail noise. And then other sideways. And you can see it's trying to stall at the top because it's going against the tail thrust. So you just have to keep it a little flatter, drag it over the top, and it come down. Right. And once you've got that, we'll go into the quarters again. Sideways. Sideways. And then rotation the other way. And this is going to stress you a little bit, which is what you're looking for. I mean, you're pretty, you'll be, you're pretty safe with all the orientation. So you just, every time you turn it, just take a second to think where you are, what the model's doing. So you can also go so forward to backward and then reverse it. And you're just playing with it a little bit. Okay, and you can do the same with sideways. So you can go sideways, to sideways. Receiver 6.9 volt. And sideways. So really simple orientations there. Uh, the four orientations, it's not dangerous. You're not coming out of the sky at a super, super speed. And it's, 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 a, it's a loop, which we know how to do. And you'll find just little little things when you start doing it backwards or sideways, they're little things that you'll suddenly notice or remember that when you learned loops all those years ago that you'd been through this and forgotten already. So it's actually quite nice to refresh it. But let's put another pack in and then we'll start doing the pit. We'll start joining all of that up and then doing uh, pirouette loops. We're gonna start with a two pirouettes per loop. So that's one pirouette on the way up and then one pirouette on the way down. And initially, we're just gonna do them as the quarters, just to be 100% sure we've got it and we know what's going on. And then once we're happy with the quarter turns, then we'll try and smooth it out and just turn it into a single pirouette on the way up and a single pirouette on the way down. Right. So we're gonna do the quarters. That's quarter, back, side, back and forward. And then on the way down again, we're gonna do the same thing. Go forward, side, back, side, out, forward. And then we'll do a couple of those in succession. Go forward. And forward. If you can do these, then you're absolutely ready for uh, doing your first full pirouette. Loop. So we're going to take it really slow. We might actually make it slightly bigger. So we're going to turn, turn, keep turning, and forward at the top. Same thing on the way down. Slow turn into sideways, backwards, and forward. Okay. And on the cyclic stick, it should just feel like you're, like you're really flying those four points. And I messed it up a bit, so we want to come out forward at the top. bottom and you should definitely feel each uh, orientation as you're going through it so when you turn sideways really fly it backwards fly it adjust and come out forward okay and then because we've uh, learned the four orientations we can actually reverse the pirouette direction as well so we'll start the same way, quarter turn, out forward, and then quarter turns. And at each quarter turn, you just want to establish where you are, make any corrections you need to. And then we'll start.
start with a rotation. So into backwards, into sideways, and forwards, sideways. Right, that one. So once you've got the two pirouettes per loop down, you can start moving on to more. So you might want to do four. So we're going to do forward at that point, into forward at that point, forward on the way down, and forward. Now this will take a while to get. Uh, I think you really want to get good at the single on the way up and single on the way down first. And learning these slow pirouettes or singles or doubles is really the right way to go. Because uh, it'll force you to fly the model rather than just spinning it around and then waiting uh, to adjust it at a single point. Okay. So once you've got those ones, you want to start, you can start pirouetting a little faster. Now what happens when you pirouette faster is you can't actually control all four of the orientations. So we might only just control it or look for when it's in the forwards and backwards position. So forward, back, forward, 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 back, forward. So we're just controlling it when it's going or adjusting it, correcting it when it's in the forwards and back position. So we're not actually counting how many pirouettes we're doing. This is just, we're just spinning it around. And then if you go even faster than that, um, so, I actually have a, uh, so I actually have a video on pirouetting, and the pirouetting speed uh, will determine how many points you correct on. So if you go super fast, you'll only be correcting when the model is in the forward position. So here we'll just... So I'm actually just waiting for it to reach the forward position. And then we want to do the same from the other side, because you don't want to develop a bias. So we'll start with a single. Into forward, and then a single on the way down. And once you've got those, you can start making really slow. Forward to the top. bottom. Uh, right, so pyro loops. Uh, a very advanced maneuver, really tricky, however really really nice to learn. Really you can break it down into those four orientations as you go around. You can learn this at a really slow pace, so you can take one weekend just to maybe concentrate on backwards, and then another weekend, maybe start working on the sideways. But it's 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 nice to learn because it's structured, and you have to you have to learn these four orientations before you get to it. And then once you get there, it's actually quite easy um, because you've got the four orientations, and it just seems to to work. So the only really tricky bits are maybe when you get to the top. Um, if you're fighting the wind, the model will want to slow down, and for that we know that you keep the model slightly flatter as it goes up, and then over the top you'll just it'll pop a bit. A, a really nice maneuver to learn that'll that'll help you in so many other areas, uh, and uh, I hope you really try this one out. Until next time.